Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markway at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Marquis of Living Streams International bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And uh, I've been looking at the story of Easter, or the whole Easter uh, event, and I've been looking at them through various eyeglasses and through different principles. Easter is not just an event, but Easter is a principle field event. And there are certain key things that happen in Easter, and we can pick life lessons from there. And one of them, and this uh, morning, so this morning I'd like to capture my thoughts with the, uh, just with the title, Servant Communion. Now, do you remember when they sat at the communion table and when they were just about to eat? Then Jesus, the master, the one who had walked on the sea, the one who had commanded storms, the one who had raised the dead, the one who had cleansed the lepers and made the blind to see and made the deaf to, uh, to hear and the dumb to speak, who had made uh, uh, lepers whole and made lame people walk, cripple walk and all that. I mean, people that people have broken roof, uh, roofs to, in order to get, uh, have access to him. Now the Bible says now Jesus, the big man, the big, big man, the Buntia, the God, you know, he sits at the table with his disciples and then he does something that's very crazy. He gets up, picks uh, uh, a listen of water, a pail of water, and then begins to clean the feet of his disciples. He begins to wash their feet. And that is the, one of the famous things that we practice to, today. And I'm talking about the communion. They sat at the Lord's Supper. They sat at the table. And at that table was when he got up to clean their feet. Now you would say, what is it? Yes, it is very curious, very interesting. Because you see, the washing of feet was the responsibility of servants. It was servants who must wash the feet. And they washed the feet of, of visitors and they washed the feet of the master. But here now, the master reverses it and then the master begins to wash the feet of his disciples. And some of them were so alarmed that they said to him, Master, no, 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 we rather have to. And he said, no, I need to do this for you. You know one thing? We walk with the mentality that sometimes everybody must serve us. And we think that greatness lies in the number of servants we have or the number of people who are at our call and beckon. You get a uh, beck and call. We, we, we walk with the distance of lordship, dominating and domineering and commanding and making people feel like minnows or making people so subservient to us. And we walk with that high, heavy and high-minded mentality, heady and high-minded mentality. That's what we do. You understand? But here is the master. Here is the Lord. Here is God himself stooping down to wash the feet of ordinary mortals like you and I. Divinity washing the feet of humanity, seven humanity. Now here's the interesting thing. We must move away from uh, domineering leadership to servant leadership. We must move away from it where we feel that, I mean, because we are boss or we are gang or we are buntia or whatever we think we are, I mean, we dominate people and lord it over them and make their life miserable as a result of our position and, our, and, our, and because we walk in corridors of power. That is so wrong. See, God himself, at the communion table, at the table where you see who is who, he knelt down and began to wash the feet of people who are far below him. Uh, can we have this servant attitude? Can we have this servant mentality? Can we walk this earth with a mentality that sometimes leadership is not domination, but leadership is service? Oh, how I wish that our politicians will hear this. How I wish that people in positions of prominence will hear this, that leadership, it's not about dominance, but leadership is sometimes about service. So, servant communion is a choice. See you later.